Hello and welcome to the start of season 3 for my F123 My2 career mode. We start off here in Bahrain. If you missed the last video, we went through everything to do with this season. And we come into this season with a strong car as we're on pole alongside Lewis Hamilton. Then it's George and Alonso, Stroll and Michael Schumacher, Ocon and Oscar Piastri, Pierre Gasly and Carlos Sainz, Albon and Leclerc, Lando and Joe Guan Yu, Magnussen and Sargent, Zenoda and De Vries, Bottas and Lawson, Fittipaldi and Max Verstappen start from stone dead last in this Grand Prix. So as we're on the formation lap now, and a lot has happened over the winter. We've signed Michael Schumacher. I wanted to bring an icon back. Obviously, we were always going to sign someone due to Alan Barnes being an absolute stinker of a driver. And also, Bottas going to Red Bull, replacing the retired Sergio Perez. No one saw that one coming. And it's a very good signing for Red Bull. But, after Red Bull pretty much winning everything in Season 1, two seasons later, they find themselves right at the back, Bottas down at the back, and Max Verstappen starting last. The car didn't look that quick in testing, and it shows why for the race though, we're doing the usual one stop, but starting on the softs, going to the mediums, and the quickest car on the grid still seems to be a bit unknown. Our car looks quick, but those behind also looking quick as well, the McLarens, and especially the Aston Martins, and of course the Mercedes as well. But then, we come into this season as a world champion, and our title defence starts here in Bahrain, and it's lights out, and away we go. We haven't got the best of starts. Lewis Howard is alongside. Fernando Alonso is on the inside as well. We're nearly free wide. Fernando Alonso down the inside into turn one. We've lost out to Lewis Hamilton who's taken the lead. Alonso's now P2. We've dropped all the way down to P3 on the opening corners of this season. We're right in the back now of Alonso trying to get away out of turn four but as we plunge down the hill Lewis Hamilton leads from Alonso from us from George he stayed where he is at the start now though can we get back through won this race this time last season and now this is George now getting the best exit I've ever seen from us we tap back in his slipstream and it's very much part two from last season here in Bahrain as we struggle to go around the outside now of George, we keep it pinned, we give him a little nudge and he has to back out of it and now he's left vulnerable to the other Aston Martin of Lance Stroll the question mark is over him if Aston do have a good car this season he needs to step up but he goes sailing around the outside of George Russell at turn 4 great move by the Canadian and it wouldn't take him long before he's battling us down the inside into turn 4 we drop him off this could be very lethal. We know Stroll's history of causing crashes. But down the inside into the final corner. Large Stroll looks to have got us, but we're going to try and do the up and under, get the exit. We've got a great exit compared to the Aston Martin, but we're going to tuck back into the slipstream, go to the outside, and side by side, we go in and get past Stroll. But the double slipstream for George Russell gets him, gets him past both of us, we stay ahead of Stroll, Stroll's lost two places, we haven't gone anywhere and George Russell's pulled off an absolute mega move there to do both of us, we're going to fade to the inside, George covers it and we're going to go sailing round the outside and that's twice this race, we've nearly pushed George off a former championship rival of last season who we beat to the title George tries down the inside we keep him behind George in the slipstream now but Lance Stroll is having another go the two McLarens look to be in as well Michael Schumacher is there in the back and side by side we go into the first corner now as Lance Stroll gets past us there Stroll's back past us making it a double podium for 
Aston Martin, we're on the back of the night. Hamilton and Alonso have flown away. We haven't really got the pace it's today. As we send delay at the inside of Stroll, he's had to correct a slide and lost back out to George Russell. Whatever happens here in Bahrain, we always seem to end up battling the Mercedes. We did in season one, we did in season two, and now in season three, it's all like going on again as George hell of an exit gets back past us into P3 but now we're going to tuck into the slipstream and wait but we are a little bit too far back this time to do anything George has got us now unless we can get the exit coming out of turn 3 and George has gone we're way too far back now unless we can send it laid up the inside no George has got us and by the pace that we're showing in this race these soft tyres I feel absolutely horrendous on this car as George now starts to pull away and now Sir Lancelot down the pit straight once again gets past us we're going to go though back to his inside took it through the slipstream and now go near, near enough off the track to sail it round the outside of Lance Stroll and up back up into P4 and now he finds himself under pressure from Oscar Piastri in the McLaren there's also Esteban Ocon in the Alpine having a go Michael Schumacher's there as well this is our race leader Lewis Hamilton now coming into the final corner and Lewis Hamilton's lit up the rear tyres and for two seasons in this career mode has spun out from the lead of the Grand Prix he's lost out to Alonso and George and now we are coming down the pit lane our race of lines trying to get past the Brit but we can't do it Lance Stroll though has got past us now going into turn one right in the back of Lewis Hamilton now side by side with Lance Stroll into turn three and four Stroll onto the curb Stroll has to back out we keep P4 for now Lewis Hamilton though he's spun from the lead in season one if you remember that and he's done it again here today and Stroll coming under pressure from Piastri but now Stroll putting the pressure straight back on us Lewis Hamilton has disappeared back up the road he's got a lot of work to do if he wants to win this race round the outside though of turn one we go on Lance Stroll and it is job done on him now but this is battling so so hard in this race Lance Stroll going back down the inside of us we chop him off but we haven't got the best of exits now lap 12 we're on now and once again Lance Stroll on the back of us gets past and we're just going to cruise down the inside break that a little bit later retake P4 and it's all looking good so far on to lap 12 now the end of lap 12 now and we're going to come into the pits to make our one and only stop of the day Lance Stroll has stayed out Ocon has followed us in to the pits now Lewis Hamilton now comes out of the pits right behind us and now as we go on to the medium compound tyres it's not the best of stops 2.8 but we do beat out Ocon that is race critical and then let's see now if we can get up the road and build a gap to Lance Stroll so we can finally take some sort of breather in this race because it's been all battling so far and try and get up the road now try and get these mediums to the end of the race now as well a couple of laps later Lance Stroll and Oscar Piastri both coming into the pits to make their one and only stop of the day but it's slow it's slow for Aston Martin and Oscar Piastri has beaten out Lance Stroll now good stop from McLaren George just beats out his teammate Lewis Hamilton we go flying down the pit straight and Esteban Ocon what a strategy from Alpine gets himself ahead of Piastri ahead of Lance Stroll as well and that's given us a bit of braving space because we had the pace over Ocon we were pulling away these mediums were so much better than those soft tyres as Lance Stroll gets the job done 
on Piastri and now is hunting after the rest of Balaklan and it wouldn't take him long to get the French driver as to the outside he goes into turn one out Ocon tries to break later Stroll keeps his foot in out of turn two through the kink of turn three Ocon just about stays ahead for now and has the DRS as well from that battle to the outside now once again Lance Stroll is trying the exact same move this time though he does seem to be a little bit further alongside as he just has to lift coming out of turn two as Oscar Piastri now is getting the popcorn because he's having a go as well nearly three wide into turn four Ocon finds himself on the outside Ocon loses out to Lance Stroll Lance Stroll is now hunting after the rest and Oscar Piastri now getting past Esteban Ocon and now lap 23 Ocon being hunted down by Michael Schumacher we haven't talked about him that much in this race but he's just been on his own and the, and the Alpine is slowing down and is dropping down as Esteban Ocon's Renault engine has popped on the opening race of the season and what was looking quite promising for a minute has left him out of the Grand Prix Esteban Ocon out as large scroll now is caught us back up and he's once again battling us as we go on to the final lap of the Grand Prix can we hang on to this P4 as we're drag racing down into turn one and we stay ahead of large scroll going into turn one he has to lift out of that but now he will have the DRS to have a go into turn four but he couldn't do that and for the first time since Mexico Fernando Alonso is going to win the opening race of the season George Russell comes home for P2 back to back P2's in a row for in Bahrain Lewis Hamilton will make up the final step of the podium but who is going to finish P4 as me and Large side by side coming out of the final corner we stay ahead of Large Stroll and finish P4 Smiling faces on the pit wall then after that superb win here at Sakir, and rightly so, a brilliant effort from the whole team. Tell me, Anne, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. It just looks so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Aston Martin's performance today has shown that they can be competitive with the biggest names in the sport. Making their way out onto the podium now as we speak, and the reaction from the crowd must be incredibly uplifting for them. So what a race, Fernando Alonso after Lewis Hamilton's spin absolutely dominated that race, the two Mercedes just didn't have the pace of that Aston Martin, we come over well for P4 in the end, the car for the absolute shocking on softs but fairly decent on the medium tyres, I think the P4 sums up that race for us, Michael Schumacher on his Formula 1 return finishes at P7, he's actually lost a couple of positions but he wasn't, he was just kind of driving around on his own, he had a small battle with Leclerc but he was on his own for most of it Esteban Ocon the one and only retirement of this Grand Prix look at Red Bull 13th and 14th absolute shocker of the start to the season at the end then of the first round of the season Aston Martin lead the constructors from Mercedes from us in P3 then it's McLaren Ferrari Alpine Williams Williams still yet to score along with Red Bull Haas Alfa Romeo and 
AlphaTauri. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first race of the season. Our title defence starts off with a P4. We go, though, to Jeddah, to Saudi Arabia for the first time next time out for the second round of the season. See you then. Goodbye.